Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. After publishing my video about the CP88, I got dozens of comments comparing this to the Nord Stage, which may or may not be a fair comparison. We'll get to that later on in the video. So today I'm gonna to give you some consumer advice, something new for this channel, let's try it out. Which stage piano should you buy and which stage piano will I be buying? First, we'll look at all of the contenders in the stage piano category. There are quite a few instruments available actually, and we'll talk about the pricing. Then we'll zoom in a little bit on the Nord Stage and the CP88, since the vast majority of comments were all about comparing this to the Nord Stage, but I'll also include a comparison with the Nord Piano. Those instruments I know pretty well. Then we'll move on and I'll give you the bottom line about which stage piano I think is the best value for money right now and what you should think about if you're gonna buy one. And then finally, we'll wrap up with which stage piano Woody is probably going to buy. Let's zoom into the screen then and I'll show you a presentation I made earlier. Let's get started by taking a look at all of the contenders in the stage piano category. And there are quite a few. We'll start with the one I just showed you then, the Yamaha CP. This is the 73 note model. This is a screen capture I took from Sweetwater. I just took one of the largest American retailers since most of my audience is in America. And remember the prices here, this is 2000 US dollars then, and you'll pay slightly more for the 88 note, two and a half thousand. And now if we compare with the Nord Stage 3 HP 76, this is the smaller Nord Stage, $4,200. Let's not worry about the $1 that's missing there, $4,200. So that is over twice the price of the Yamaha CP73. Now this one does have a few more features. If you want the 88 note version, then that's going to be a mind blowing four and a half thousand dollars. Not sure what's happened to the pricing of the Nord stages in recent years. Now this could just be a currency conversion thing that the value of the Krona uh, is low compared to the dollar or perhaps the other way around, I'm not quite sure. So it doesn't seem really very fair right off the bat to compare the Nord Stage 3 with the Yamaha CP since it's an instrument that costs twice the price. I think a more realistic comparison or a fairer apples to apples comparison is the Nord Piano 4. But that one is also more expensive. You're getting slightly less features. You're paying more. This is $3,000. Okay, we just had a incident with a memory card, but I think we're back in business now. Let's press on. We have the Korg Grand Stage 73 coming in at $2,000, exactly the same as the Yamaha CP73. Never played one of these, don't know much about it, but it's a very handsome looking instrument. Korg's high-end stage piano with seven different sound engines. It's got the electric piano, the piano, and I think a pretty nice CX organ sound engine as well. For the 88, you're looking at 2,200, so coming in a little bit cheaper than the CP88. Now we have a very handsome looking keyboard, the Roland RD2000. Again, not an instrument I'm particularly familiar with. This is a premium pro digital stage piano. You can see the price here, 2,600. So just a tad more than the CP. I think the thing that they've promoted a lot in some of the videos I've seen when you're looking at the RD2000 is of course the fabulous supernatural piano signs, a great wooden keyboard, just like we have on the Yamaha CP. But this thing is a beast, look at the size of it. It's got the Mitch and Pitch and Mod wheels over on the left hand side there, making it even longer. But the thing they are promoting on the videos as I was trying to get to earlier, is the DAW control. It's got a built-in multi-channel audio interface and you can assign all of the sliders and knobs on the front panel there to control your DAW. Now, if you want to go a little bit more budget, this is a really old stage piano from Korg that's still available for sale. And I saw the magnificent Jack Duxbury demonstrating one of these recently over on Anderton's TV and he made this thing sound really great. So certainly worth considering. I think the 73 at 1600 bucks for a quite old technology digital piano is a little bit steep. 
whereas the 88 represents better value for money, I think, at, what was that, just a couple of hundred dollars more. We have one I have never played. You never see kawaii stuff in the regular music shops up here in Stockholm, anyway. You have to go to some specialist piano shops that stock kawaii acoustic pianos in order to try these out. So I've never tried them, but I do know this. For the discerning piano player that wants the ultimate piano action, then this might be the keyboard for you. They have some fabulous mechanically uh, built keyboard actions that represent the feel of a real acoustic kawaii grand piano. I think they are best in class, that's what I've read. So this might be for you, a little bit more expensive at 2800 Okay, let's dig into a little bit more detail on a couple of these keyboards. I'm not going to talk too much about the ones that I'm not familiar with, so you'll have to do your own research here. But if I zoom in here, the ones we're going to talk about now are the CP88. We're going to get rid of the 73s as well, because most of you are probably interested in the 88s, and I want to compare like with like. So the Yamaha CP88, the Nord Stage 388, and the Nord Piano 488. And I know all of these pretty well now, after having the CP88 for a month. I did have a Nord Stage 2 here in the shack for about three months. That was on loan to me from a friend. I've never played a Nord Piano 4, but I do know the Nord Piano 1 very well because I owned one for about a year. And over the years I've owned many Electros, so I do feel I know the Nord product range pretty well. Okay, my favourite keyboard of all time, here it is. Yes, it is the Nord Electro. <laughs> So we have a three-section multi-timbral keyboard here. You've got your piano section, e-piano section, and your synthesizer section. And these are all sample-based. They're playing back samples using the Yamaha AWM2 uh, sound engine technology. Uh, for the pianos, you've got your CFX Bosendorfer, some lovely uprights, and you can upgrade it as well with new pianos in the future. The keyboard is a gorgeous natural wood graded hammer action. The keys have a wooden core to them, which you don't really notice as you're playing, but it's a nice comforting feeling to know that it's there somehow. A triple sensor keyboard as well to get you the proper dynamics and the response of a real piano. And this one, interestingly, has both USB, MIDI and audio. Uh, and here on the right, we've got a few features that are common for all of the instruments we're going to dig into a little bit more today. A live set list mode, layers and splits, seamless transitions as you change presets, a nice effects uh, engine there with lots of different effects that are all easily accessible and tweakable on the front panel. You've got pitch and mod wheels, at least on the stage and the CP, which is really nice. And all of them came in about 19 kilograms as well. That's 38 pounds, more or less. Okay, let's take a look at this beast. Look at that front panel. There is so much going on there. But I have to say, I do like the graphic design a bit more than I do on the CP. I like the fact that these uh, different sections are highlighted in a contrasting color. It makes it much easier to see where one section begins and the next one starts. Okay, this one sports two OLED displays, a much nicer display than you get on the CP. You get two gigabytes of piano flash memory in which you can load pianos from the Nord Piano Library, which is a massive library full of dozens of acoustic and upright pianos and electric pianos. It's absolutely fabulous. Their instruments have a lot of character and a lot of warmth and a lot of uniqueness about them that I really do love. Two gigabytes here, I have no idea what you get on the Yamaha board. I did ask them, but they they didn't have that information available for me. We have a A1 synth engine. Yes, uh, they have shoehorned in here the synth engine from the A1, and I used to have an A1. <laughs> Some
So you're getting the entire A1 sound engine included in your Nord Stage 3. You have a sample playback engine as well. We have on the left hand side, you can see the drawbars there, the digital LED drawbars. This thing has Nord's premium C2D Hammond organ tone wheel emulation organ built in. Not only that, but it's got pipe organ and combo organ simulations built in. And of course, you don't have this whatsoever on the CP. You're stuck with a few sampled B3 organs. Likewise, for the synthesizer section, this is a full-blown virtual analog synthesizer here. You can tweak it to your heart's content. Not so much on the Yamaha where you just get some envelope and filter controls. This one, however, is lacking USB audio. It's MIDI only. I think it's more fair to compare the Nord Piano with the Yamaha CP, although this one is more expensive and you don't get as many features. The keyboard has a triple sensor hammer action keybed made by Fatar. I don't think this is as posh or high-end as the wood keys you get on, say, the Roland RD2000. The nice OLED display we have here as well, one gig of piano memory, half a gig of sample memory, and you download the samples from the Nord library. You've got a triple pedal included in the price, that's very nice, advanced string resonance. There's a similar thing on most of these stage pianos. USB MIDI only. And here, unfortunately, such a shame, no pitch or mod wheel, so this one doesn't really make a very good MIDI controller. Okay, so that was a head-to-head -head of these contenders, the keyboards I'm most familiar with, and the ones that you were requesting in the comments. Let's drill down into the bottom line then. If you're thinking about buying a stage piano, what should you keep in mind? If you need the best in class, this is one of the very best Hammond organ emulations, and you want a killer synth from the Nord Lead A1, then the Nord Stage 3 is for you. But you'll have to pay an extra $2,000 over the price of the Yamaha CP. For the same price as the Nord Stage 3 88, you could get a Yamaha CP88 plus a digital tone wheel organ from Hammond, that's their XK1, plus the Behringer DeepMind 6, which is a fabulous synthesizer with lots of hands-on controls, even more than you get on the Nord stage. So how about that? That's the same value as what we had earlier. Now, it is somewhat convenient to have everything in one box. I'll give you that. But I just wanted to put this picture up on the screen so you can realize just how much more expensive the Nord stage is. So if you think you can manage without the tone wheel organ and the virtual analog synth, and you can live with the samples that Yamaha have provided on the CP, then I think the CP88 or 73 is much better value for money. Or you could pay more money and get less features, but get access to the fabulous Nord Piano sample library, and then your best choice is the Nord Piano 4 at $3,000. But please don't overlook these two. We have the Korg Grand Stage here. And also make sure you check out this gorgeous RD2000 as well. It's in the same price category and it might have some of the features that are more important for you. Many of you were asking which one I would buy. So let's answer that question now. Here's what I'd get. It's a second-hand Nord Piano 2. Now, unfortunately, Nord don't make the newest generation of the Nord Piano in, this is 76, sorry, in a 76 keyboard anymore. It's only 88, and this room is not big enough for an 88, unfortunately. And this is where I make most of my music. So I would actually look out for one of these, a used Nord Piano 2 HP 76. It's stripped down, it's basic, it's one tool that does one job, and I really like that. In the more recent versions of the Nord Piano, they've added so many bells and whistles and the sample playback stuff that's not really interesting for me. But this is hard to find. I don't think this was a huge popular seller, but this is what I'd buy, and one of these you'd get used for about $800. Now then, I know that was a bit of a cop-out. If I had to buy a new stage piano then, which one would I get right now? Okay, because of the watermark, you can't quite see, but the 88 is out for me. That's not an option. So what would I buy? I would buy the CP73, or I would buy the Grand Stage, which was exactly the same price, but you do get that rather nifty stand included with it. I wish 
More manufacturers would include stands that are custom made for the instrument. And Yamaha, I think, missed a bit of a trick here. They should have added the CP, the old 70s CP style angled legs. So those would be my choice if you made me buy a brand new stage piano. But I'm not actually in the market for stage piano right now. It's a category of keyboards that I really like. I appreciate the high-end features and the pro build quality and the great piano sounds and all that kind of thing. But I'm not a gigging musician. I make music here at home. And what I want actually is a simple keyboard that's more affordable that I can just power on and play and practice. So I want something with built-in speakers, but with a great piano sound and also something that's quite compact. It's been really difficult for me to find something, but I think I've decided on something and I'll show it to you now. That's it. Not the prettiest looking keyboard in the world. I'll give you that. This is a Yamaha P121 and it's the 73 key version of the very popular Yamaha P125. And this one has a great keyboard. It feels pretty nice. I've played one in the stores, not up to the standard of the CP88, of course, but this one costs $550. So it's a quarter of the price. It's got a fabulous uh, acoustic piano sound. The rest of the sounds didn't move me all that much, but they never do on consumer digital pianos. The only thing I want from my digital piano is one great sounding acoustic grand piano sound. That's it. The rest I couldn't care less about. It's got built in speakers so myself and the rest of my family can just power it on and play without needing to hook up external amplifiers or connect it to the computer. This I think will be perfect for me and especially in white. They have a white model as well that I think looks even nicer. And you do not unfortunately get the guitar and the hat included in the price if you do get the foot pedal. Did I miss a contender that you thought should be on the list? Please let me know in the comments. Did I miss some hugely important feature when I was doing my head-to-head -head comparison? Also, please do let me know in the comments. And if you think I'm completely out of order with my suggestions, I'd also love to hear from you. Or perhaps you even agreed with me. Let me know down below. I hope you found this presentation informative and valuable if you are yourself in the fortunate position of choosing between a new digital stage piano. Remember, of course, that these opinions are all my own and you need to make your own decision depending on your own needs and preferences. Always try before you buy if you can. And remember, you can save a whole lot of money by buying used if you know what you're doing and don't necessarily need the absolute latest and greatest iteration. I have one final CP video coming out very soon where I play 10 of your requests, so stay tuned for that. And then this one is going back to Yamaha next week. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, please, to visit my website where you can find out a little bit more about what I can do for you and what you can possibly do for me. Thanks in advance. I'll see you soon. Cheerio. Thank you.